Heart failure is a global pandemic affecting at least 26 million people worldwide and is increasing in prevalence. In this video, you will understand how to recognize heart failure signs earlier so that necessary medical and surgical intervention can prevent morbidity and mortality. Most of the common symptoms of heart failure are also associated with other conditions. But if you have any symptoms that are recurrent or persistent, or if you have two or more common early signs of heart failure, it's a good idea to seek medical care. Heart failure leads to shortness of breath because your heart can't keep up with the blood supply coming in from the lungs. This causes it to back up in the pulmonary veins into the lungs, which can lead to breathing trouble. Heart failure can also cause shortness of breath due to increased pressure inside the heart. This happens more when the heart is beating fast and has less time to relax. Fatigue happens in heart failure because there's less oxygen-rich blood getting to your organs to keep up with the demand. This means that the heart is working harder to circulate your blood. Edema happens in heart failure because your kidneys aren't able to properly filter sodium. Your heart then releases chemicals that causes the body to hold onto fluid. You might notice that your clothes or shoes no longer fit right or that you have gained weight unexpectedly or quickly. When a cuff is caused by heart failure, you might have a lasting dry hacking cuff. You may even begin to cuff up pink frothy mucus. Heart failure can cause chronic cuffing because fluid has backed up in your lungs. If you have trouble sleeping for at least three days per week for at least one month, there may be a bigger reason. When you're having trouble sleeping due to heart failure, you also might be uncomfortable lying flat. Loss of appetite or nausea. You might not feel hungry when you're experiencing heart failure. You might also feel nauseous more often than normal. This can be due to poor forward flow or congestion of the organs with extra fluid. Heart palpitations. This happens with heart failure because your heart isn't getting as much blood as it needs. Your heart weakens without enough blood, causing it to beat faster. Talk with a medical professional if you notice any symptoms of heart failure. While having just one of these symptoms might not indicate heart failure, it's still worth bringing up with a doctor, especially if you are at risk for heart failure. If your symptoms last for more than a week or two, or if you develop multiple symptoms, make an appointment as soon as possible. Early treatment can prevent complications and help you stay healthy. There are several risk factors for heart failure. Any one of these risk factors can lead to heart disease. Your risk goes up when you have a combination of factors. High blood pressure causes your heart to work harder, eventually making it weaker and not able to work effectively. Obesity carries many health risks, including an increased risk for heart failure. Irregular heartbeats, called arrhythmia, can weaken your heart and lead to heart failure. Long-term alcohol misuse can weaken your heart and cause heart failure. Like obesity, smoking can lead to many health issues including heart failure. Sleep apnea prevents you from getting enough oxygen during the night which can increase your heart rate and lead to heart failure. Diabetes can raise your blood pressure and cause microscopic damage to the heart which can lead to heart failure. In coronary artery disease, your arteries narrow and don't bring enough blood to the heart. Over time, this can weaken your heart and cause heart failure. Heart conditions you're born with are called congenital heart disease and can lead to heart failure. 
Some medications, including those for diabetes, blood pressure, psychiatric and cancer, as well as certain over-the-counter medications, can cause damage to your heart. Talk to your doctor about any medications you take to make sure you know about any possible increased risk of heart disease. A heart attack can damage your heart and lead to heart failure. Viral infections can damage your heart muscle and cause heart failure. The first sign of heart failure can often be an emergency event like a heart attack. There are some signs and symptoms that can appear earlier that you can watch for. It's a good idea to tell a medical professional right away if you notice any signs of heart failure, especially if you have increased risk factors for heart disease. Early treatment can prevent serious complications and improve your outlook.